please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Uswobi. Tumba Machel Ola Shubomi Balogun was an institution in the Nigerian banking sector and a model for various generations of bankers, lawyers, and everyone engaged in intellectual business with our nation, crafting solutions to our my right of challenges. But he was much more than that. He was everything our alien world desired a philanthropist extraordinaire. Departing from this world at 89 is a gift only a few have benefited from. So this is more of a gratitude to the Almighty God for bringing such a noble person to our world and changing the course of our history. You, our dear people of Ijebu land, Ogun said, and the nation as a whole, we must be grateful for the personality you have raised for the nation and the world. He not only immortalized your industrial spirit as the founder of the flourishing Pest City Merchant Bank, which, will all, which we all know as FCMB, but the world is going to remain grateful to him even much more longer than he lived. So we are here 
to celebrate life. As he peacefully departs from this ugly rim at the remarkable age of 89, we lift our voices in prayer, offering our heartfelt appreciation for the profound impact he made during his time amongst us. In this moment of farewell, we ask for your divine comfort and solace to embrace the loved ones and friends of Otumba Balogo. May they find strength in the shared memories and may their hearts be filled with gratitude for the privilege of knowing and being taught by such an extraordinary individual. May Otumba find eternal rest in your heavenly abode and may his legacy continue to inspire generations to come. May God grant the family the fortitude to bear the irreparable loss. Thank you, and I'm sorry. If I was to be a person testify now, if you should have didn't say that, you would be surprised. To tell you, he and now the owners of the books here to Nigeria. Have you blessed it? Their presence in Nigeria as a God today, they are conscious of this nation. They have no blessing of this nation, but God sees them. I know of who has been who was not the richest person for my generation. Time will tell what will become of the secret wealth and of all their resources. Perhaps it might be good, this social proof, whether present there or that this is only through the social media platforms. It might be good. It now, exactly one is four years ago. John D. Rockefeller, the founder of Standard Oil the company, was once the richest man in the world. He became the first billionaire in the world in 1916 at the age of 76. By every decision, attitude, and relationship was taken to create his personal power and wealth. But at the end of his career, he became so ill. His entire body became racked with pain and lost. Every decision, attitude, and relationship was taken to create his personal power and wealth. But at the end of his career, he became so ill. His entire body became racked with pain and lost.
please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hey, hey. Face TV. Was